We are at the 10 day RV super show here in Glendale, Arizona. And we are gonna take you through the most expensive class B that we can find all the way down to the cheapest class B here. So let's go. Starting with this class B that we're in. This is a 2025 Gretsch Strata, if I'm saying that right. And the price for it? Well, it was $279,000 and they've discounted it today for $262,000 for a class B. I'm prepared to be very impressed today if this is what we're paying. Let's start with the chassis. So this is on the Mercedes 170 extended chassis. It is all wheel drive and it is huge. Now, the first thing I notice is this air conditioner. Uh, I noticed it because it had my head on it when I walked in and it- Jeez, <laughs> please. Kind of hurt my head, but anyway, yeah. I'm okay. Here in the back, we have this amazing power bed, very nice cushions, high quality materials all the way around, nice large picture windows, tons of storage. This cabinet goes all the way to the back and you've got some great lighting. So you do have a TV with a sound bar and a secondary control system here in the back. So moving up here to the passenger side galley, you've got your convection oven. You've got a two burner uh, induction stove top. That's induction? Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought induction meant like it's not connected. No, induction is electric. Oh, excuse me. Uh, now you do have a nice large sink, large enough to obviously, you know, put dishes in, do dishes, those kind of things. All of the cabinets have these nice, you know, latches. So everything secures. It looks like I think that's soft close. Nice soft close. Here on the galley, you do have lots of storage, drawers, cabinets, plenty of space. And you do have this refrigerator, which has this nice, I guess, matching, matching wallpaper? wallpaper laminate. But anyway, you have your refrigerator on the top and your freezer on the bottom. Wow. So, Impressive. And what's nice about it is it's up in the air. So, you know, you're not like bending over to get to the freezer or the bottom of the refrigerator. It's kind of up nice and high and it still has some storage underneath. Okay, moving on to the bathroom. Let me see if I can figure out how to open it. And I did. Oh my gosh, it has a smell. It's like brand new smell, but a I feel like brand it's new smell. Porn a potty smell. It okay. is kind of porn a potty smell. Okay. Anyways, okay, so well, I'm in. I'm trying to get the shot here. It's get a little difficult. Shot. You know, Bob, the bathroom shots are hard to get because <laughs> you're in a fan. But, anyways, um, can I stand up? Barely. And it's then, better than some of the other models we've seen, but. Yeah, it is better, but I don't know. It's It feels like a coffin in here, I will tell you that. But I mean, you also have to be grateful to have a bathroom at times and bees. Then you have the sink right here. I'm assuming this becomes your shower. So, yeah, there's a cool little mirror. Over see. here, I don't, I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if I can get it. You got it. Okay. And, oh. You do need a little privacy shade. Nice privacy shade and nice window. I don't know that I'd ever use the window being in a bathroom, maybe. I guess if I needed a peek out, but yeah, all in all, there's no storage or anything in here. Um, but that's it. That's all you get for the bathroom. Just a classic little wet bath. Yep. Last thing I want to show you up here on the driver's side is you have this huge cabinet. Wow. Tons of storage in this model. What's that lagoon thing? So that would be your lagoon table. Now, I would assume... There's a table somewhere here. Oh, hang on. Okay. I do see a mount for it here in the back. I wonder if there's a way to mount it up here so you can turn these seats around but you do have this small little workspace up here. So it does have the very nice Mercedes console with all of the storage up top, the large screen, the push button start, and all the awesome features. I do notice that the materials for the seats are- Very nice. Very impressive. With yeah. some stitching. I mean, yeah. very nice quality. Right. 
Now, I thought, oh, this one does have the automatic close. Oh, look, and your step goes in. Now, let's just try that one more time. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. So let's see. One thing I have noticed with the Gretsch, sorry that it's kind of loud over here, but with the Gretsch, they have done a really nice job of hiding everything. So you don't see any of the exterior connections. Everything's kind of nice and hidden. I'm assuming most of it is here. It's actually locked, but that's where all of your connections would have to be. But a very nice, clean exterior for sure. So for $262,000, this is the most expensive class B that we could find here today. So now we're gonna start to look for something that is slightly more affordable. Yes. And just wait, cause we have found something super cheap that some of you might love. Now we're in front of a 2024 Road Trek Chase. And it's got a different look to it, at least to me, the inside, the colors are very spring, so. Let's go on and check it out. You see, they've used kind of like this, I don't know, green blue. Is it teal? Teal decor. I don't know if that's teal. With but... off-white and a white fridge. Oh, I love this. Oh, okay. Starting in the back. Okay. I, these have seat belts, I can tell. Yes. Okay, so you can sit more people back here. This is your bed. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Okay. There you go. That's a nice feature. I like that. I like that. I'm uh, pretty sure this can go in the middle to make one full bed. Would you guess, Bob? Yeah. I. It's... We're going to just get, or this goes in the middle. Hold on. Sometimes they'll be in the back, but no, you see this, see this lip here. Okay. So there definitely is a way. Okay, I just so, don't know it. All right. Uh, we're not going to figure it out, but just imagine that this makes one full bed. Let's see, you know, Oh, nice. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. You have a TV back here. Hang on. Oh, TV God. with the cover again. Road yep. track. Nice TV. Windows back here. Bug screen. Bug screen Blackout right behind shade. ya. These windows are nice. They have the screens that we love to, to close and open. We love that feature. I love that it doesn't have a valance. There's lighting, there's a speaker. I don't know, I'm a fan and I like, this is made out of um, fabric. So that's kind of cool. I like that, except for if you were to rip it. I guess you just have to use your warranty and fix it. Up here, you have lots of storage. Oh. Nope. <laughs> it just slams. But you have one, two, three, and then a little mini right here. Some plugs in there. What I like is if it was me and I was gonna buy this, I would leave these two twin beds. That way you get had walking space. That tends to be my favorite thing right now. That's how I would leave it. But yeah, that's the bedroom. And I'm assuming this is your, yeah, your wardrobe. Yep. Or pantry. Yeah. One of the things that is really nice, you can leave these separated because, well, we're on the ProMaster chassis. It's a little bit wider and you still have room for this large bed. Yeah, and you get to walk. I need to put on my shoes. And it looks like there's a pedestal mount right there. Oh, for yeah. A table. So you can put a table right there. I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah, that table can come back here. Okay. okay. Moving on to the galley. It's actually in my favorite position where you've got this nice, you know, open door yeah, to the outside world. So you do have a single burner flush mount induction stovetop with a sink and a nice little faucet. What do you think about the color, Bob? I don't know how I feel about the color. It works in this layout. I'm not going to lie. The I white like with this, is it teal? I don't know, but uh, it's different. Yeah, so, I like it. Yeah. So underneath we've got lots of storage drawers. Are they soft clothes? They are soft clothes. Nice storage. Yeah. Everything 
They do go with knobs, not the like push to lock like they do on the overhead ones, like these. Oh. I don't know why they switched them, but they, they did. did. Uh, this is a nice little pantry. And wow, a nice That's a big drawer. big drawer, I like that. The only problem with these big drawers is they try to keep the weight down as much as possible. So they put some pretty lightweight materials in here. You could break that drawer with some heavy pots and pans pretty easy. Then you have your refrigerator with a couple of bins and a separate freezer, which I do like that feature. And we do have a countertop extension right here. But let's move on to Hillary's favorite feature, the bathroom. Oh, stop. It's not my favorite. Well, yeah, you don't like this setup. Okay. Oh, okay, wait. Now let's talk about this. You get here. in. First off, this would have to change because that's it's always there. You can't undo it anyway. But I kind of actually like this. If you open up the doors, you have, I mean, you're not going to like go in here and close the door to use the bathroom. You're going to you're gonna use, leave the doors open. Oh, no, 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 no. You're closing the door. <laughs> but, but the fan, how else would you get the fan to work? Oh. If the doors are open, this isn't that bad of a bathroom. Otherwise, I'm not a fan of the sink over me while I'm, you know, sitting on the toilet. And definitely not big enough to take a shower because I have to stand kind of out from the sink and the toilet. So you'd get water all over your floor if you were trying to take a real shower in here. Mm. So, so. Hmm. not a fan of this bathroom. Okay. The toilet situation is not too bad, but you need to take that shower head off. Okay. And you do have this pedestal table, which you could turn these two seats around, use it here. It's kind of awkward. It would be best for this person, but I guess you'd have to use it for both. I don't know. Huh. I'm not a fan of this table and where it's positioned, but I don't think you'd have another choice. Hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. And that's about it. So it does seem like good quality though. Road track. Yes. Road track. I'm pretty impressed with your quality. Looks good. I mean, nice hard materials or nice. not hard, like acrylic countertop. That's really nice. And I, um, I've never ever heard of the chase. I, if I'm saying it right. I think that's how you would say that. I mean, I don't know why right? you wouldn't, but okay. Um, all right. So let's come around to this driver's side and take a look. And they've done a good job with this. So here's your shower. This would be your water heater and your furnace. And I'm assuming all of your, you know, like water connections, sewer connections are all hidden down underneath there. So pretty clean exterior. I, I like it. Yeah. And I'm definitely a fan of the white. I like yeah. white. This white with the silver looks really sharp. It really does. Well, I guess that's what you get for $134,000. Not too bad few things that I would like. change and yeah, there's a few things I'd like to change but all in all not too bad and the quality seems to be really good with this brand welcome to the road trek pivot this is a 2024 it is on the new Ram Promaster chassis and is hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars come on in first thing the front seat swivel but they have the integrated seat belt in the seat itself so that's a really nice feature when you're trying to rotate those i like that you have this very large table it does have this extension that will also swing out um i don't know how to do it <laughs> oh gotta, gotta pull that down i knew i was missing something oh uh, cool so it does have this nice table extension so you can you know, sit here or have the other seats turned around. That's really nice. Okay, I want to quick sit on these seats because our current van, which is a 2022 Thor Tolaro 20A, has two seats like this with a table. And I just want to kind of compare. I like these seats better. Ow! Okay, if you're tall, you might hit your head. But yeah, okay, comfort level. Eight out of 10. It does have this nifty little cover for your TV. Okay. Okay. Some overhead storage as well as some overhead storage above the cab. All right. Not a huge fan of these knobs on the drawers. Oh, those are like actual. Actual like knob knobs. Uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna hit those and I did just catch my pocket. So okay. not a fan of that, but. Here on the galley, you do have a nice sink. Yep. 
With, I like what this is made out of. This yes. seems really good. Nice quality materials. You have the faucet. It must be secured because it's new. You have your induction stovetop, which is level or flush mounted. Nice. And you do have a nice little piece of glass as a divider between your bed huh. with, with your stainless backing. So I like that. It has to happen because- No, this, you have to have that. But like, if my feet are down there, I'm gonna hit that glass. Potentially. Yeah, okay. So you do have an overhead microwave. It does not appear to be a convection oven, just a standard microwave. Okay. Oh, and the fridge. So it's nice. kind of a little bit smaller than the one we have, but it's got a freezer compartment. Right. Um, yeah, everything you need. Oh. It they're, 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 uh, they're soft clothes. Okay, nice. So there's one, two, three, four. What is that? Plus. Oh, it's like a little pantry. Oh, let's go that way. Okay. Cool. All right. Bathroom. Okay, I'm on bathroom duty. Yep. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I can actually stand up inside of it. That's always I a plus. I have my shoes on. I'm not hitting the ceiling. Okay. The, the toilet's kind of at an angle. It's kind of, it does rotate slightly, but it's a it's a pretty snug fit and especially if you close the door i do not like those doors i'm not a fan of these doors but mm -hmm. it does work i'm not a fan of the sink because i feel like it takes up more valuable room it'd be nice if you could turn this way yeah and let me see let me see what do we got here oh look this is where your shower is oh, oh. hey whoa 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 what so did you just find this is the bathroom setup oh now stop they kind of copied the echo and this is the shower setup. Okay, hold the phone, hold the phone. I was kind of wondering why this shower head was right here. Yeah, so you, now, I'm a pretty big guy. This is awfully tight, I'm just gonna say. You've got enough room to stand and rinse. <laughs> and that's literally it. Hmm. So even like washing your hair is gonna be kind of hard. Honestly, would it be just better to shower? No, because the sink. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could rip that out. Then you'd have plenty of room in the bathroom. Rip what out? This whole pedestal, like this piece right here. Oh, I agree. Let's take, let's get one of these and take that out. Then you'd have plenty of room. Uh, yeah. Anyway. No, no. Sorry. moving on. Moving on. Okay. And in the bedroom. This is one of the nicest features that I have seen in this van. They have, I don't know why I can't seem to get them to open. Here we go. Okay, so you've got some windows. They open so you get some nice cross ventilation. You've got storage up above and your air conditioner back here. Not hitting my head on this one. And this forms one bed. So this side slides out yep. and I can't seem to get it. So it's very much like our Talaro. Yes, but this forms one nice large bed. You could upgrade like we did to a new mattress, make it a little more comfortable. These, these seem like good ones, like seem, better than ours, but. They seem pretty good. Yeah. But all in all, you've got these nice, uh, like blackout shades for the back. No seat belts back here. Yep, you do have, I'm sure this is where your electrical system is. Probably one of these has your water tank but you've got more, lots and lots of storage capacity down here. Okay. And it seems pretty well built. So all in all, not not a terrible layout. A few for things that, you know. For $129,000. For $129,000. What's the outside? Anything so, cool? Let's check that out. So this is on the new chassis. You can see the nice LED headlights because our ProMaster has terrible headlights. Oh, and Road Trek has done a nice job. They've got a lower trim kit on, so they kind of hide all of the components, all of your connections. Everything seems to be nice and sleek. You do have your cassette toilet, um, and I'm assuming that's gonna be your water fill and an outdoor shower. Oh, but nice. But it's all, you know, pretty well enclosed and looks nice. Okay. I'm actually pretty impressed. Okay, 129,000. Pros and cons. Um, hold on. Some odd storage. Okay. Okay. So for $129,000, this is on the Ram Promaster chassis. It's not a bad deal. Um, 
It's got some features I really like. What do you guys think of that bathroom setup with that kind of transition piece? To me, it felt a little small and seemed kind of a, an attempt to try to make it bigger, but it actually took up a lot of space. So I'm curious what your guys' thoughts. All right, we need to move on because we've got more to show you. We finally found something under $100,000. So this is $89,998, which it's marked down $43,000. Crazy. I, mean, I would never spend $133,000 on this. I would agree with that. That's and 100%. is it a 2024? So this is a 2024 Thor Dazzle 2LB. Pretty simple. It, it's pretty straightforward. It has this large galley that faces opposite of the sliding door. You've got your convection oven, a propane stove, your sink, and your refrigerator with a little bit of overhead storage. Nothing too fancy. But I mean, it's under but 100 grand. Simple and straightforward. You do have a roof fan. It has this little tiny fan right here. It's more like a vent, <laughs> not even a fan. Okay. And they had a cut cost somewhere, Bob. They did. Here's your air conditioner right here in the middle. You've got more storage on the top. You've got your two beds. They have oh, this system underneath it. We're a fan. And the heads like rise up so that you can kind of like sit at an angle like this. I like that actually a so, lot. Kind of a nice feature. Um, uh, no valances. They've gone to these kind of blackout shades that are insulated. I love it. So those are better. And it has a rear bathroom. So I'm a fan of the rear bathroom. So you've got your cassette toilet on the driver's side. You've got a nice shower head as well. You've got some storage here on the passenger side. This shower curtain that wraps all the way around. Blocks your windows when you're here showering. And you do have a roof vent. Okay, nice. So, I'm a fan. I yes. like this oh, layout. And, and. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have this sink that we'll never use. Nope. So. Don't need that. Now, are there seat belts back here? Um, I highly doubt that there are seat belts. Oh, there are seat belts on the driver's side. And okay. these have like hard backs. So I'm sure you can lay those down here in the middle to make this one big bed. I am a fan. Well, I would never do that. But truthfully, for 89000 this is not a bad starter. I might even pick this over our current van, Mr. Lemon. Although this one is a Thor, so. A couple of little upgrades and it could be better. So you could change out your exhaust fan, put a max air fan on the top. Um, this countertop is kind of cheap because it has like the, I don't know, the Formica top, but it's wood underneath. So any water that gets underneath here or exposed to that is going to cause it to expand. Yep. Um, but I am a fan of the propane stove. Yeah, that's your favorite, right? That's one of my favorites. I prefer propane over induction. And at least it has a well-powered, you know, microwave. Wow, it does. So, so, and then this pedestal has an option for a, like, outdoor, outdoor table? table or an indoor table. And then you can turn your seats around so the passenger can actually have a table. Okay. Um, I think, oh, there is a pedestal table somewhere in here because there's a pedestal mount here on the floor. So you could sit here and do that. And I would also like to commend Thor for taking the awkward TV out that nobody uses. Oh, yeah, so, there's no TV, is no there? No TV, so good job. That's okay. awesome. But what if some people wanted a TV, Bob, and you just then, gypped them? Nope. Then you buy your own, you buy a high-quality TV, and you put it in here where you want it. Okay, that's fair. I like the flooring. Flooring's not bad. Okay, and then the and seats. The seats. Seats, uh, these feel like factory stock seats. Yeah. Could be wrong. Now... What is really cool is this is on the new chassis. So I'm assuming it has the upgraded transmission. It has the nice headlights. Oh. So I'm, this isn't a bad deal. I'm, I'm, I'm a Thor hater most of the time I know, but they've done a pretty good job with this model. Now you do have a few more connections on the exterior. I'm not a huge fan of that, but they're here. So you've got your propane shut off, some um, sewer hose storage. Sorry for the terrible noise your power and cable hookup, city water and water tank fill, your air exhaust, and this is for your flush, your sanitary flush. Okay. And and the back of it comes stock blank. So there's <laughs> lots of good upgrades. We've got a couple that we've done to ours yeah. that I would recommend here. Okay, I just have one question for him. Are you guys dazzled? 
that's my question. <laughs> 89,000, this is what you get. Okay, one more to go. Okay, so we're in the last van. Thanks for sticking with us if you're still here, but you made it, you're the real OG. And what van am I sitting in? This would be the Thor Rise 18G for the price of $79,000. So let's check it out and see what you get for $79,000. So what can I say? This thing is small. I'm sure that it's great for a single person um, who's traveling alone, but it is small. So let's start in the back. You've got your bathroom with your cassette toilet. Now this cassette toilet does get emptied by opening the back door so that you have access to the, like the little cassette. Which you like. Which I do actually like that setup. You've got a medicine cabinet, a shower head. Hang on, okay. You've got your shower curtain and some storage over here. So pretty good sized storage actually, but all in all, just a nice small little bathroom. It does have two doors that slide this way together. You've got a pedestal mount on the floor so you can have a table, but this is your couch slash bed. So this basically extends out, fills in the gap with these cushions, and then you have your very small bed. And you have your very ugly valances. Yeah, these valances, not a fan of, they tend to, Get broken but and part of it too is you just have these like pull down shades but we can't complain for 79 i suppose yeah for seventy nine thousand, you're gonna have to tolerate it but you've got some overhead storage on both sides so two on the passenger side three on the driver's side well more like two and a half and you do have a microwave it is not a convection just a standard microwave you have your propane stove a small sink and you've got a couple of drawers they're not going to be soft clothes or anything but you've got those and you have this quite small refrigerator but for one person that might be enough yeah i would say it would be and you do have swivels on both of your seats so you can swivel those around um, yeah I, this, the, this setup is very much like our setup. Yes. Now this is on the new chassis. I can tell by the wireless charging that's there in the center console and the larger screen. So that's nice. It, it is an, it is the nice chassis and, and transmission. But uh, other than that, it's just this standard, you know, ProMaster. Oh my goodness. It's just the standard ProMaster. Now I'm curious on this one, does, oh, it, Steering does telescope. I'm glad that ProMaster made that change because ours does not, and that would be nice to have. Well, I don't know what else to say. Let's go take a look at the outside. Well, there's not much behind the sliding door, nothing on the back, and let's see. This is so cute and small though. It, it, is, it is small. So this must be the exhaust for your toilet. That's going to be for your Truma air and water heater, I'm assuming. You've got your sewer storage, your propane shut off, and then you've got your city water fill and your power. I do see a solar panel on the top along with your air conditioner. But all, all in right. all, seems like a pretty simple, straightforward option. Yeah, $79,000. Well priced. Well priced. Okay. We're done. I am done. It's yeah. been a long day. Mm -hmm. Glad we could share some new stuff with you guys, but I am exhausted mm -hmm. and we need to grab some food. Yeah. So anyways, hope you enjoyed seeing the most expensive van class B at like a hundred or 260 something thousand dollars. Yeah, the sale price was 260. Sale price all the way down to $79,000. So that's just a few of your options. There was a lot more here. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have to come back because there's just so much to see, so much new stuff. But anyways, that's today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. High price to low price. Let us know what you thought. Let us know if you have any of them. Yeah. We're always shopping. That's true. One day. One, one day. day we're going to show up and we will not have Mr. Lemon any longer. Hopefully soon, but we'll see. No promises. No promises. Okay. So. See you next time, guys. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.